Today, we're gonna to talk about how to train on vacation and not only not gain fat, but maybe gain muscle. What? Yes, it's true. I went on 35 day workcation. I worked about 12 hours a day, including two hours of training in there. And then the rest was fun. I believe I actually put muscle. This is on a ship. Not everybody's going on vacation on a ship. So we're gonna open up the dialogue to when you're on vacation, can you actually stay lean and actually one step further put on muscle? Absolutely, yes. I started my cruise, 35 days of traveling, of work and vacation at 223 at 9% body fat. And I think I came back at 224 at 9% body fat. And I found a big part of that was my eating. I ate a tremendous amount of egg whites very often and it kept me very full. Seven countries, 35 days, and to gain muscle on a cruise ship. How'd you do that? That's how I did it. Started with a very clear goal. The goal was to have some business stuff, launch two products, did that. Have my best month financially, did that. Grow close to my girlfriend, Jen, who's complicated, did that. And put muscle on. Now, the goal was really not to put muscle on. The goal was not to gain fat. I found that I was staying very, very full. My goal was to have my business records, my relationship records, and stay lean. And I accomplished all that. I trained 33 and 35 days, and I absolutely loved it. And training, it's very flattering. I get a lot of compliments, and I absolutely love it. I'm drawn to that. I just want to say it's the most amazing thing ever. What I eat. I ate coffee with 30 grams of protein, then I'd have 18 egg white, and then I'd do 18 egg whites again, meal three. Meal four, I'd have two chicken breasts, corn and veggies, and some watermelon. I had to mellow out the watermelon because it did bad things to my system. I did not bring my sugar-free Metamucil. It wasn't good for me and my girlfriend. Let me just put it that way. It was tore up my system. It was the worst thing ever. Sugar-free Metamucil is God's. Chicken salad, two chicken breasts, and then for dinner, I'd usually do some kind of steak. I did eight ounce steak with veggies, fruit plate. So my daily protein was about 250 grams and 90 carbohydrates, 32 grams of fat. Total calories about 2,200 a day. And again, I was really very pleased how full I stayed, how lean I stayed. We did a lot of walking and that helped. TRT, it was touchy. It's illegal to have in other countries. And hypothetically, some landed. I was able to get some darts. But when I drew it out, it was cloudy. It was very scary. But basically, I went off about 80% on my normal routine, somewhere in that 80%. And I was actually amazed that I kept the results that I did. I did one video, got 150,000 views. So, and I had 3,000 haters. That was interesting. People took the time, appreciate the compliments. But without further ado, let me get into the training. All right, day one, consist of chest. I would do eight sets on this machine. It gave me a great pump. I love the way it worked with my shoulders. I also did cable crossovers, four sets, and then I do incline press, four sets with maybe 25 pound dumbbells. I have to be very careful because my titanium shoulders. Okay. So on to day two, I would do shoulders and triceps. This is shoulder press, I do eight sets. And then I do side laterals with uh, dumbbells. And notice as I'm doing this, it's, I'm contracting the muscle. Now this is side laterals. What's really cool is I'm focused a lot on my shoulders. So I do a lot of shoulder work. So I think I did side laterals for about six sets. I'm very much focused on my caps and my shoulders. So I'll do even lighter weight leaning over. I'll get more to that. And then I do shrugs. I think this was the seventies. That's the most they had. I do four sets of this. Now, again, you work with what you have. There wasn't a lot of variety. So I did more sets on certain exercises to get that pump. This is tricep pushdowns. I do eight sets of this. And I'm really focused on just getting the pump, just getting the pump. Next one here is kind of an overhead tricep push. And I like this one. It gave me a huge pump in my triceps. Again, there was only two to three movements on triceps. So my range of different exercises was very much varied. So now we're going on to back. I'm a huge back proponent. I love wide laps. So I do lat pull downs. I did this machine was awesome. The pump was incredible. I do six to eight sets on this same machine. It was really good. You couldn't do really any other movements. And I love this very much. 
And then I'd spin it on around and I'd actually face it and get more of an isolation in my lats. Because again, when you're training, you always want to be moving machines and weights in a way to stimulate the muscle at its greatest, meaning full extension and full retraction. So then going on to the day four was leg day. I'm sorry, biceps. I would do on biceps, any bicep curls, I would do six to eight sets on this. And then standing barbell curls, I would do four sets on. There's a 70 behind me sitting down there. And then I would end up with hammer curls. And I kind of kept just doing this rotation through failure. That's what really worked for me. Now, this is leg day. Now this was tough. There wasn't a lot of machines at all. So I start out with four sets of extensions just to get a warm up. And then I do these squats, maybe four to six sets on these squats. Remember I have titanium hip and titanium shoulders. I have to be careful. And then I finish up with leg extensions. Now it's amazing how much development you can get with leg extension. I can't do squats anymore. And I have to do hack squats and leg press. So I do a lot of these extensions and they're great for the move. Then I eat really, really well. Like I said no to a lot of desserts, a lot. Like I only had two desserts in 35 days. I, there was a lot of calamari. I love calamari. I think I may have feasted on one or two meals in the 35 days. Other than that, I ate perfect. Literally egg whites, oatmeal fruit. I mean, white meat chicken. I mean, ate perfectly. I'm gonna give the eating a lot to do with it. Do you wanna stay up to date with these fitness tips? Then I think you should be sure to subscribe because I bring a lot of good stuff your way. 42 years and 30,000 hours and the numbers don't lie. I'm 224 pounds today at 8, 90% body fat. Blood pressure is 115 over 75. A1C is 5'1", resting glucose is 78. I don't feel like I'm 20 years old. It works. High protein, high fiber, moderate carbohydrates. You'll have a ton of energy and life is better. And we owe it to our kids. 4,000 people are gonna die today and every day due to insulin resistance. And for the first time in history world, we're gonna outlive our kids. Can you believe that? We're killing our kids with carbohydrates and sugar. 80% of the country is overweight. It's a problem and I have very simple tips that'll help you, not to mention my food products are unbelievable. I have a keto burrito that's 35 grams of protein, 25 fibers, more than RDA fiber all day long in one burrito. 20 grams, the average person gets two. What's a problem? And when you have some that's high protein, high fiber, you don't eat. So it's either that or Ozepic, you pick it. And then I have these fitness bowls, they're amazing. The five ingredients, High protein, very low carb. They taste great. Fast food delivered to your house for $6.70 a meal. And the shipping is no joke, it's all included. My margin's are very tight. Think about a meal that's half the cost of the Big Mac that'll make you live 10 years longer, maybe 20 years, and have my energy. Start with a clear goal. So important, I went on this thing not to get fat. Not only did I not get fat, I gained muscle. I ate for 35 days perfectly pretty much except for one or two desserts and one or two feast meals trt was very very moderate i was actually very surprised that you know i'd pull back the throttle that much and it was a little nerve-wracking doing the first one with everything not being clear i am transparent it's the way i work no secrets here training in the pump now that was huge i trained for a pump you can feel it i'm going to go into more detail on my training on how important that is to go for the pump but it's a very simple thing if you're training harder than 90% of the people in the gym, you're doing good. I looked around the other day, nobody trains as hard as me. And I'm the old guy. And I, I hate training the younger guys because I compete and I don't know how to lose. And I keep pushing myself and I have literally metal joints, but I love, I love training, I love doing it. And I guess I have a big ego. The last thing is have fun with it. I'm having a lot of fun. I have my best life I've ever had. I went through some very hard times. It'll be another video with alcohol. Uh, about four years back, I lost all the weight, got my confidence back, career's going through the world. I have an amazing relationship with my girlfriend, Jen. We travel every weekend. We're really blessed in a lot of ways. And I'm an Irish guy that talks about everything. She's an Indian girl, doesn't talk about much, and it's a perfect family. So thank you to all of you. If you find this helpful, subscribe. It's very simple. And we'll blow this thing up. Anyway, have a blessed day.